what's going on guys welcome back to the last kingdom season four we are here for the final two episodes of season four and i'm ready episodes nine and ten and i am ready hope you guys are too i'm looking forward to seeing if the danes are going to get to winchester before the season ends um i'm pretty sure that it's going to be panic 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 these two episodes better be fire um i told you guys in the last review if you did watch it i told you guys that they lost points because they have breeder running around as a pregnant woman still being badass no no i refuse to accept it i refuse to accept it there's no pregnant woman in ever that can be badass like that no no i won't accept it it's unrealistic and they don't need to do that so it has lost points. There ain't no big point. It ain't a whole point either. It's like half a point I'm taking off. Right now, we're at a 9.5. 9 but we do have two more episodes to see if we can push that back up. And I would can, like, okay, I'm going to forgive that one dislike. You know what I'm saying? I'm forgive that one dislike that they did there. And still give it a 10 out of 10 season. Let's see how it goes. Right now, it's definitely a 9.5 for me. But... That's, I'm just preemptively saying that because I'm going to be doing this review is going to be reviewing the entire season. So the one that you're going to see right now after we watch the show is going to be the rating I'm going to give. So hopefully these two episodes are fire. OK, so I appreciate you guys so much that I have some things in the works for the channel. Um, I don't know if we're going to hit 5K before I will be doing another um, Q&A when we hit 5k so just know that okay so thank you guys so much I appreciate you guys and as always man let's go watch these episodes and I will see you guys for the review all right take a seat um first of all let me say season four was definitely good not as good as season three but um as i said dropped a few points there dropped a few points i'm gonna give this i'm gonna say my 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 more than likely it didn't these two last episode did not raise my rating from a 9.5 so it's gonna remain there and I'm going to tell you guys why. These two last episodes, episodes 9 and 10, they did a very good job of telling the storyline of the, the attack on Winchester to the agreement, the alliance. Well, not really alliance, but bringing peace. Sig Trigger was obviously not there for, you know, to fight all these battles and war and all of this other stuff. You know, um, I appreciate that, you know, because e eventually the Danes and the, the English or the Saxons, they did have peace from what I know about history. I mean, I mean, I don't know if there's going to be another uprising again. Maybe we'll see how that goes. But I know eventually there was some sort of peace. Right. I mean, if you look at history coming down i don't know if the english completely wiped out the danes if that's what happened i don't know but obviously there had to be a period of peace um so i don't know if it happened with king edward i don't know i don't know if it happened with him or it was further down the line i don't know what's going to happen next couldn't tell you where the story is gonna pick up for the next season but i will be watching that's for sure. So let's talk about the season. The season basically of Uhtred do, doing so many different things, making sacrifices again and again. You know what I'm saying? And it's like you want him to get a break. You want him to catch a break. Every time he does, there's always something. There's always another plan. There's always something in the uprising where he has to give up something that he loves or or he's making sacrifices for people who never cared about it, that treated him like he's a scab, that treated him like he's nobody. You know what I'm saying? When I'm wondering 
people fear Uhtred for just the wrong reasons. You get what I'm saying? They just fear him for the wrong reasons instead of appreciating him. You know what I'm saying? For for the honorable person that he is. And I think that's what kind of caused the peace to come at the end there because Sig Trigger actually believed his daughter. You know, it's like all this stuff that even Brita... Brita is... You know, I, I'm not going to spend this time talking about Brita. Just not. I'm going to be honest. I'm just not going to do it. She's not a character I want to see in the show anymore. And that's my my honest feelings on it. She's not a character I want to see return for season five. And they saved her yet again. Yet again, they saved her to annoy the shit out of me in season five with something. How? I, You know, I don't want to see Uhtred kill a pregnant woman like, you know what I'm saying? And he didn't even know at the time, you know, at the end of season three, you know, he didn't know. You know, he didn't know. And I think he would have gone on not knowing that she's pregnant, you know, and it would have been better off at that point to get rid of the character. But I guess she lived through history. So why not? You know, Brita is just is just it's one of those characters, man, that's in a TV show that you just like just kill her off already. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Because it's just like at this point, like the whole revenge thing just doesn't it just doesn't fit her anymore. There's no she there is like they're reaching for reasons for her to, to be in the script. You get what I'm saying? I don't know if you guys feel the same way. Of course, you're going to let me know while watching the seasons um, as I put them out, of course. But it's just it's just to that point where I'm where I'm saying I just. I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? Her character. It looks like Elswith, Elswith is going to die. Maybe somewhere around the beginning of season 5. I don't see her surviving. But I'm okay with it. Reason being, her redemption arc was done perfect. I loved it. She became one of my favorite characters to watch during this season. You know, so... I want her to survive, but at the same time, I would be cool if she didn't. I would be okay with it. Um, you know, Uhtred just, I mean, now he can't even have his family. You know, there, it's like there's no peace for him. Everybody else get peace. Everybody else kind of get what they want. Uhtred just cannot get what he wants, you know, and I, I think that's the trait of his character and the way how his character is being written is just that he's just a man that's just he's special, but he never gets anything that he wants. You know what I mean? So, you know, he's like the suffering, the, the example of the suffering of mankind. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like you do everything right, but you still can't get anything that you actually want. You know what I mean? He wants his home back. He tried and failed. Lost a father figure. You know what I mean? Like so many things happened with his character. You know what I mean? And then he he still has his friends. Don't get me wrong. He has Citric. He has Finnan. And it looks like Finnan and um they're setting up for Finnan and and um Edith to have some sort of relationship in the future. Uh, as I said, I'm not against her being with anybody else. I just, what I preferred her to be with Hootred because she's just a kind soul. You get what I'm saying? And, you know, it, it's okay. It's fine. As I said, Hootred never gets anything he wants or you, anything that you want him to have. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he got Lord of Mercy and he just gave it up just like that, you know. I hope, you know, the thing that I like about this story more that I would say I like more than than Game of Thrones was Ned Stark. Ned Stark, right? He was honorable, but it 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 was honorable 
to a fault. You get what I'm saying? But with Uhtred, he's honorable, but not to a fault. You get what I'm saying? Like, you're not annoyed by his honor. You can get annoyed at Ned Stark for his honor. You get what I'm saying? To the point. I never minded it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he died an honorable death. You know what I mean? You know, he went down standing up for what he believed in. So, with Uhtred, as I said, his honor is not, it's not, he's not honorable to a fault. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not going to be his undoing. You know what I mean? So, I appreciate that. I really do. You know what I mean? And this season was done so good, man. Edward, you know, he's he's a wishy-washy king. You know what I'm saying? He's a wishy-washy. But he did come around there at the, the last, like, I think three episodes or so. He did come around to accept Ethelfled as the Queen of Mercia, that they could work together. But I didn't like the decisions that they were making together for... It's just like... It's the same cycle again of people, you know what I'm saying? Like, imagine, imagine, you know what I'm saying? Imagine them, you done so much for people, and they they won't even consider you for a second. For us, Uhtred is the reason why you are Queen of Mercia. And you come in and you don't even think for a second to say, let's wait Let's give him a couple more hours or try to plead with Edward for a couple more hours for Uhtred. Not even, you couldn't even give him that? Wow. Wow. She just came in and was like, whatever you decide, I'm going with it. It's like, wow. It just proves, to, it just goes to show you sometimes how human nature uh, oh, now I, I got what I want, so screw you. I don't care how I got here now, even if it's you that got me here. Screw you now, because I'm in I'm charged now. I'm in charge. Wow. Nah, bro. I, I, yeah, I'm glad that they, they didn't try to give them no intimate moment after the fact, because I would have been pissed off. I would have been pissed off if they tried to give them some sort of intimate moment after you know, negotiations and whatever. I'm glad that Uhtred just walked the fuck away from them. Be like, y'all can do whatever the fuck y'all want. I'm going to go see my daughter. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like that, man. As I said, man, season, 9.45 out of 10. I'm still I'm still dropping that, that point five for them having Breeder out here doing some crazy ass shit while she pregnant like she think she's you know what I'm saying no I'm you lose points for that that was badly shot they should have never let if they hadn't let her fall in the village in the village I would have kept it a buck and 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 still give them a perfect for the season but that alone that was just so unrealistic it was just nah bro you know I get it, man. Women can be strong, but you can you can do better. You can portray that in a better way. That's I, I refuse to believe that. So you know, and that's just me. But in any case, thank you guys so much for doing this season. I don't have much left to say. It was a great season, nonetheless. You know, it was a great season. Nine point nine point five out of ten is not bad. It's just you, yeah. It's not bad, but I'm looking forward to seeing where they're going to take the series now. But it was an awesome season, man. Um, getting to know Uhtred Skids, too. That was pretty cool. Them introducing them at an older age. That was pretty good. Getting to know um, Edward's bastard son. That was pretty cool, too. Even though he's, he's pretty legitimate because he was born under marriage. So he's legitimate. He's not a bastard, but... They keep calling him that. Um, Hethelhelm, still alive, you know. I don't know if they'll ever find out about what happened. Man, that annoying queen is still alive too. Jesus. Oh, 
there's so much to look forward to in season five and i'm here for it but anyways thank you guys so much make sure you leave a like let me know in the comment section what you thought of season four when you finish watching it and also subscribe if you're new it's your boy terror by reacts and i will catch you guys for season five of course great series another great series caught up with on the channel i appreciate you guys see you guys later man peace